It's your boy Nook One, man. I just jumped off the porch with Diddy Girl Blast, you heard? Gang. Live side, we got principles that we live by. 25 and under. All right, so we got Nuck Lauren jumping off the porch with us. Welcome, man. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be here. Yes, sir, man. How you feeling today, man? I'm I'm chilling. Nice day. For sure, man. It look like you brought the whole whole hood with you, man. Well, if I go, they go. For man. sure, man. We gotta bring the old hood out. Yeah, definitely, man. Go ahead and shout out all of them or some of them, man. Let everyone know. We got a little Q right you, here, Lil Z, Fleezo, Footy Cow, Bidiski, Man, Hazio, Tweak, Dougie B, and Uncle Meek. For sure, man. Yeah, I love to see them all out here supporting you too, man. <laughs> That's what's good, bro. So what else you got shaking here in Atlanta, man? What else is on the agenda? I mean, I don't know. We're just going to go out I mean, see what we get into. We're just chilling right now. Okay. Now, do you come down here to Atlanta often or not too much? No, nah, it's my first time. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Okay. So how long you been in the city so far? Got here yesterday. Okay. So did you hit any clubs? Did you do anything yesterday? Yeah, a couple of brews went out yesterday. Yeah. I just stayed in the crib. I was chilling. For I sure. might go out tonight, though. Okay. Yeah, there's plenty of options, man. You know, it's Atlanta, man. We're the state turn up. Here, man. All right, man. So I need you to break down, you know, the life and the culture in Plainfield, New Jersey, man. I yeah. ain't never heard of Plainfield, so. Well, I, need I get, you to put we get you, that a lot. Yeah, I need Listen, you to put me on, No, it's kind of small. It's only like, like probably like 50,000 people in the city, but it's just like everywhere else, same shit, populated, poverty, all that. Hmm. We're just trying to make it out because we don't get seen a lot, feel me? So we just trying to... Just trying to network with everybody wherever we go, get our name out there, get some yeah. buzz around the city. Okay. Get shine some light, you know, we be blocked by Nork and all that, so oh, we got to shine light for ourselves. Yeah. I got light. Yeah, so what's the music scene like up there then? Oh, it's a couple rappers, but ain't nobody really like, really like break through for real. Hmm. That's why I'm trying, I'm trying to be the one to make that happen. Okay. Now, do you feel like there's a lot of unity amongst the artists? Most artists fucking with each other, supporting each other? Or is everyone just kind of doing their own thing? Nah, I'm saying it depends. It's niggas that, that fuck with who they fuck with, but it's, it's separated for the most part. Okay. You feel like there's any chance of it kind of getting united, or is that just not going to happen? Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> Only me and mine, man. Okay. <laughs> so does anyone else up here, do they rap too? Oh, nah, my brother, my brother Ice rap. Feel me? He couldn't, he couldn't make it right. He couldn't make okay. it, right? But he rap too, you know, us too. We about to take this shit over. Yeah, I dig that, man. All right, so let's take it back to your childhood. Like, what were you into growing up there in New Jersey, man? Like, were you in the sports? Were you always in the music? What was you I was you into? always in the music, but I was playing ball. I was playing sports. Like, child, my childhood was regular. I, I grew up kind of kind of rough, but it wasn't too, nothing too crazy. Like, hmm. nothing I couldn't handle, but, you know, it was, it was easy. Okay. You got any siblings? Yeah, I got, I got like... Three brothers, two sisters. Okay. Yeah. So where do you fit, like, age-wise? Are you the oldest, youngest? I'm the, the youngest. Or? You the youngest? Yeah. Okay. So we're, like, your older siblings, were they, like, trying to put you on the game, like, kind of, you know, protect you, kind of give you the guidance, kind of give you the game and everything? So. At, well, till I was, like, 12, 13, because that's what my brothers had got back. Oh, shit. They got locked up. So after that, you know, it was just me and myself, like. Yeah. I had to fend for myself, but before that, yeah, they, was, they had me right, they was taking me out with everything, showing me, feeling me ones and twos. Okay. So is that when you say you jumped off the porch then, around 11, 12, or were you off nah, like, before then? Like, like 13, 14, for real. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I heard, uh, you know, you got shot back in 2020, right? Yeah. So, like, you know, first of all, where'd you get hit at? Was it, like, real I got serious? Hit, I got hit in my back and it traveled to my neck. Oh, so fuck. they had to take it out my neck. Whew. Uh, so what was that experience that, that like? Shit, you know, that shit was different, you know, you know, that ain't something that you, that happen every day. Yeah. But that shit, that shit just made me like, like tighten up and how, how I move and all that. Like I was a little too comfortable, feel me? Like, so I had to, I had to get, that shit made me like open my eyes for a, yeah, move absolutely. a little different. Nah, definitely, man. Definitely make you, uh, you know, kind of be on your, on your shit, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did that kind of like change your perspective on life too? Like, man, this shit can yeah, end at any, any time. day, any second, it could go. Yeah, can't waste no time. Absolutely, man. So, did you finish school? Did you go to college? Nah, I ain't go to college. But I finished school. I finished twelfth grade. Okay. 
Did you ever think about going to college, or do you knew once you was done with high school that that was nah, it? Nah, but after high school, college wasn't even in there. I mean, question. I feel that, man. So how long you been rapping? For like, like six, seven years. Okay. Been rapping since I was like 15. Okay. Took it serious probably around like, like 17. Yeah. 24 now, so. Okay, so you been doing yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. So what had inspired you back when you was 15, to, you know, to start at it then? Basically, everybody I was listening to, I was, grew up on Beak Bill, Jada Kiss, Lil Dirt, you know, niggas like that. So that shit, I, it made me like, I started, I started fucking with it. So I just wanted to start making music. Hmm. After my first song, he told me I had it. So I just ran with it. Okay, yeah. I started doing a lot of freestyles at first, but then niggas like, nah, you gotta make some songs. That's what's going on. Let me get you out there. Yeah. So then I had to learn how to do that. Okay. Once I learned that, it was over. Yeah. What was one of the first songs to kind of pop for you to kind of give you that buzz in the city then? Uh, it's called Get With Me. Hmm. On YouTube, I got like 30,000. On their other platforms, it was like 30,000 plus. So like, that was really one of the songs that really like pushed me out there. Okay. What, what can you tell us about that song? Like, what was you going through that day you recorded that shit? I don't know. It's kind of like a like a like a turn song. Like it make you dance, feel me? Like for a party type shit. So I was in that type of mood. Hmm. I was in that bag. I was happy. I was turned. So when I made that, it just like it fit. I found the beat. The beat was perfect for how I was feeling. Then the, it just came. Okay. Everything just came together. Did you expect it to take off like it did, or were you kind of surprised by it? <laughs> nah, I was surprised. I didn't think it was gonna take off like that. Like I knew it was hard. Everybody told me it was hard, but like. At first, I didn't think it was going to really take off. Then I seen people sharing it, sharing it, start traveling different cities and all that. I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's going to be the one. No, that's hard right there. Heard yeah. yeah. So what's your creative process? Like, you be writing, you punch in, do a little bit of both or what? Uh, I mean, it depends. Like, I, I like writing, though. Like, if I know it's a song that I really want to, like, get done, I, I write to it. So when I get to the studio, I just run right through it, mm -hmm. anything put together. But if we in the stool and then we just catch a vibe, I could freestyle to it, too, like, off the top. Okay. So it'd be like a little bit of both. I got you, man. When do you feel like you make your best music then? It's like when you're in a good mood, when you're pissed off, you're going through some real life shit, or it doesn't really matter to you? Probably when, I, when I'm going through shit. Hmm. That's when, that's when the, I'm most creative, like when the best, my best shit come out. Yeah. Kind of just be able to like vent to the mic and yeah. shit like that? Yeah, basically that's what it is. Just, yeah. going, just me and the mic talking to that. I dig that, man. Yeah, so what inspires you? What motivates you right now? Feel me where I'm living at, by, 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 by living conditions, by kids, daily situations, problems, like it just keep me pushing forward, like so I could change how I'm living and everybody that's around me, like, cause I got a whole village. Yeah. So I gotta I got take care of everybody, make sure we all good. I dig that, man, yeah. You got any kids? Yeah, I got two boys. Okay, yeah. One five, one, one about to be one in December. Oh shit, newborn, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so what has being a father taught you about life these past five years? Uh? Taught me how to sit down hmm. sometimes. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> it up. It'll slow sometimes you down, you man. You to sit down. Hear it up. Yeah. Did it change your life uh, pretty much, you know, a lot when you first had your first seed? Yeah, because at, at, first, at first when I had my first son, it was like I was still like, like moving how I was moving, but reality set in. I'm like, oh, I really got to like lock in. Yeah. So it basically just changed how I like, how I move on a daily basis. Absolutely, man. Yeah, it's like you got to be there for your kids, yeah. man. No, definitely. I got them at home waiting for me. Nah, definitely, man. Yeah, so I'm checking out a couple of your videos, man. See, you know, you guys throwing up the, the four a lot, man. So what does number four mean to you? That's for my brother, uh, Silk. He had passed away. Oh, shit. He died uh, April 4th. Oh, so damn. that's why we so thought four, the four, 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 four. Yeah. Okay. Was that this year or what year was that? 2016. Okay. What, what can you tell, tell us about him? Like, what type of person was he? He was a hustler. He knew how to make that money. Hmm. Way before his time. Yeah. He knew how to get that bag. He was different. For sure. Yeah, I, pre I like how you guys, you know, wrap them with the, the fours and everything. That's yeah. pretty cool. Every man. year, birthday, anniversary, everything, we, we, uh, we celebrating for him. Yeah, Every for year, sure. we ain't forgetting them at all. Yeah. Facts. Nah, real shit right there, man. All right, so Liberty Music Group, man. Oh, Talk indeed. about this, man. You know, how this whole situation come about for you? No, Uncle Rick, he came, he came up with the idea. He wanted, he wanted to make a, uh, he wanted to make a label. So, so, I, he knew I was rapping, I was doing my thing. So he grabbed me up, like, 
gave me the game plan for real. Then we went with that. Then I told my brother, I, uh, Mike, Matt, he, he rapped too. Hmm. So once he started for me taking it serious, he grabbed them up too. Like, all right, we just gonna, we gonna work with y'all too. We just gonna take it from there. Yeah. And then like, ever since that started, we, we just like been going up. Like every, every other, every other thing we do is it's an improvement. Like we're not going down right now. So yeah. I can say it's working, it's, it's, it's gonna pay off. Oh, absolutely, man. And just kind of talk about like the importance of having a team behind you like that too, man. Right, and, and it feel good. Cause you know, uh, Everybody supportive, everybody feeling the wave, so we're just gonna rock out. Yeah. We like a pride. Hmm. We all help each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be, you know? It's a, it's, it's a okay. family, it's just, we do it the legal way. Yeah. And I see y'all be throwing that Liberty Mutual uh, sample in some of the songs, yeah. man. That shit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with that shit? Was that the producer? Was that you guys? Yeah, that or? was me. I, I, I kept like, one week I kept listening to the, uh, I kept seeing the commercial, it kept popping up. So I'm like, that'd be perfect, like if I could sample that. Yeah. And then my producer named Nino, he's from New York. So I, I sent him the sample. At first he thought I was playing, but then I'm like, nah, like we gotta really put that together. <laughs> so I told him how I wanted it. And then he just put that, it came out perfect. Yeah. Shout uh, out to Nino too, man. Yeah, that's it all right yeah. there, man. Yeah. So what's your thoughts on the rap game, the music industry, everything that be going on right now? Uh, I mean, I mean, it's all right. Like, it's a couple, it's a, I don't, I don't know. The rap, the rap game, I right, though. I like, I like how it's going, but it's like, we getting too covered up with, with, with a lot of like funny music. So I'm trying to bring back the like real, real hip hop, real bars and all that. Yeah, understood, man. So, up. are you looking to get signed to a major label? Is that, or is that not a goal for you? Or are you open nah, to it? that's a goal. Or? That's a goal. I, I, I fuck with like CMG, QC, uh, you know, everybody, things in that nature, like niggas like that. DC. Yeah. Feel me? Those, those, those who like the. That's why I like, like, encourage me. Like, that's how I look up to. I see how they come with their artists. Feel me? So like, that's something I, I will want to be a part of. Okay. Yeah. Um, when it comes to New Jersey, man, I always feel like you guys are overlooked, man. Do you feel like that that way too? Yeah, definitely. We got, I think we got the most underground artists. Hmm. Like Jersey got bad talent that ain't even been noticed. But we get. <laughs> really? <laughs> we always get overlooked. Why do they? Think, why do you think uh, the industry is scared of you guys? Then? I don't know, man. It's like we in the middle of New York and Philly, so it's like we be getting like. We getting like, yeah. A lot of raw talent, like between us. We got a lot, a lot of real talent. Heard up. Plainfield to South Jersey. You gotta work your hardest just to be seen. Like, got to. Yeah. Now, do you network in other cities? Then, do you go down to Philly? Do you go up to New York? Yeah, definitely. I be, I be all over. I be trying to network with all different type of artists just to feel me. Get my name in that city. Get everything rooted. I got a couple features too. Yeah. I feel that. I heard that. Shout out 18. We definitely did just did sign. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. How'd that situation come about? You guys just reach out to him? This yeah, relationship nah, nah. y'all been, been at? We've been locked in for a okay. minute. Like, we've been locked in, but like the song was overdue. So once mm-hmm. we got in the studio, it just we just put that together. Came yeah. natural. Okay. Got to shoot a video for that, too. Oh, it's mandatory. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So what was the vibes like yeah, in that Fat studio? Yeah, Fatboy, too. Fatboy definitely posted uh, Matt shit. Oh, for real? Word up, his video. Word up. Word, yeah. Shout out Bundus, Monique. They from North. We had, we had made some uh, shit together. Okay. Sign for yeah. the soul. So it seems like Jersey's starting to come together then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's hard right there, man. All right, so I got to ask you about this Beat It song, man. So, <laughs> like, was the, the sample already in there when you got it? Was this your yeah, idea? Yeah, nah, the or? sample was already in it. I had found the beat. So then when I heard it, like, it just, it just fit, like, the, the, the type of time I was on at that moment. So <laughs> I knew that was, like, a little party song. Like, even if it was for kids or whatever, like, it's going to make somebody dance. Yeah. What was that studio session like? What were the vibes like uh, during that one, man? That studio, that session was different. I had, I had just came home, too. That was in, like, August. Came home, we went to the studio. I was just turned up just because we was, we was outside <laughs> in the studio. Put that beat on. It was banging in the speakers. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, this is going to shake the crowd. Nah, I fuck Fair with enough. that song too, man. There's a lot of energy in that shit, man. 
Yeah. So you say you just came home? Like you yeah. was locked up last nah, night? No, it was something, it was something light. It wasn't nothing okay. crazy. It was just for me something real light. I feel that, man. All right, what about this 314 video you got out right now, too? Yeah, that's the that's the Liberty sample. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically like a trademark for the hood, for real. Okay. What was the hood's reaction when they heard that <laughs> shit? <then>? They love it. <laughs> they, know, they love that. Yeah, and you dropped this song, Liberty Made. Um, you going to shoot a video for that one? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So for people that haven't heard that song, like, what can you tell us about that one? What type of vibe that one's on? Uh, that was just basically like, like a little introduction to where I'm from, like what we go through on a daily basis, like what's going on, what we got to go through. Yeah, I did that. So you working on a new project right now or you kind of just focused on singles and videos? Uh, we definitely focus on singles and videos right now, but I, I'm working on an album in, in the meantime. Okay. I'm going to call it a uh, dying breed. Hmm. Break that down. Why dying hmm. breed? I just feel like like really the last of a dying breed. Gen- ain't no ain't no generation I feel like gonna come up like how we came up. So I feel like after us it was really over with. Yeah. I ain't gonna say that, but you know like we really a di- dying breed. We one of a kind. Like. I feel that. So who's some of the other producers you've been working with lately? Uh, that that's really the only producer I've been working in. We, we've been locked in. I've been oh yeah, cheese too. Yeah, I'm bugging. I'm bugging. Yeah, cheese. You know uh he he uh produced. Gorilla. Which one? That that beat that uh Yeah, the the tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah the tomorrow, you know, we, we got locked in with him. So he been sending some beats up too. Yeah. That's yeah, hard, right? Besides yeah. that, them two, Nino and Cheese. Okay. So shout out to them. Both yeah. of them. How'd you like it with Nino? Is that someone you've been knowing for a while? Uh no, nah, I met him like I think like 20, 2019, 2020. Okay. And then ever since then we just been locked in. Yeah. Now, do y'all be working in the studio together, or is it more him just sending over packs and all that? Uh, both. Like, if he can make it to the session, he come to the session, cook the beat up on the spot. Okay. Or if he in the crib, and he come on the and send it to me, like, oh, yeah, you fuck with that, yeah. Or if I got a, a request, I send it to him, and then he just chopped the beat down for me. For sure, man. So if you're hitting the studio, man, what's some essentials you need, man? I need my weed. I need some liquor. <laughs> and I need my niggas. <laughs> Cause I need to know if they fucking with the songs or not. <laughs> Heard it up. <laughs> Heard it up. They definitely ain't no, is. ain't no yes man on your yeah, team. Nah, huh? not at all. If it's something they ain't feeling, they're like nah, yo, like that. you got you got to cut that out or something. Do something different. Yeah. Heard up. But I like that though because nah, that's you need up. that. Man. Yeah, word, yeah. definitely. Absolutely. Bro. So I ain't just putting out anything. Real shit. Heard up. I had them change. I had them change stuff after the song with me and they did. Hmm. I like that. But Nah, that's important, man. You can't have them going out bad, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't feeling the song, you definitely got to let them know, man. Uh, uh, son ain't growing, that shit ain't living. For sure, man. Right, no, What's your go-to liquor, Newt? What you be drinking on? 17th. Yeah. That's 17. I used to drink Hitty, but that should be, it'd be fucking up my stomach, man. <laughs> so Everyone say that. that I, like, I like the Casamigos, too, though. Yeah. But, but I do that 17. <laughs> 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 Now that tequila gets you right, man. That tequila is like a different type of drug. I had to bring the Kasi. Yeah, that Kasi gets you here for real. <laughs> At 17, though, that's the go-to. Yeah. So have you been working with any other features, or are you kind of just been locked in with yourself here? No, nah, I've been working with some features, but but I, I got I got a whole lot of solo shit in the files and all that, but okay. I got, I'm definitely doing features, though. Yeah. Heard that. So what's some goals for your music career, whether it's short term in 2023 or long term, like five, 10 years from now? Uh, I'm just trying to get out as many, as many videos as possible because hmm. everybody, they just want to see you. So oh, yeah. that, that's really the goal right now, get these videos out. Absolutely. You shot anything down here in Atlanta yet? Nah, I'm planning on it though. Yeah. You know, you got to do it, get it that different vibe, Heard that different look, man. For sure, Need the right man. scenery for that. Yeah. So, uh, do you know what your next video is going to be? Do you got something already shot, tucked away, or? Uh, probably said with me and Baby ATM, and then after that, probably some solo shit. But after, yeah, after those two, I'm just going to be freestyling. Hmm. Okay, for sure, man. Um, what do you want your listeners to like take away from your music after they listen to one of your songs? Just to feel where I'm coming from. Because I'm not trying to like be, I'm not trying to be like nobody. I ain't trying to make music like nobody. I'm just doing my own thing. So I just want my listeners to feel where I'm coming from, understand me. Yeah. 
I feel that, man. What's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now? To never stop working. Like, even if you feel like your, your, your music not good enough, just keep working. Because one day, that one song, that's all it takes. That one song going to pop, and then you're going to be on your way. Yeah. But you, but you got you to gotta stay consistent. Like, if you're going you to make music, that's what you got to do. 24-7. Absolutely, man. You ever felt like giving up on this yeah. shit? Nah, I mean, nah, not really. Not really, because I, I love music. So, like, that's this what I do 24-7. Yeah. I be locked in. I dig that. Who you been listening to today? Any new artists, really, that you fucking with? Uh, I fuck, I fuck with a lot of underground artists, though. Like, like I fuck with uh, ATM. I fuck with my son, Zay Flames. Yeah, my son Kai, he from Bogan. Uh, my man Tanner, Lib. So it's a lot of niggas I rock with right now. Okay. I'm mean, listening to a lot of underground artists. You be tapped in, huh? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Shout out to my boy. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. If Harden too, we gonna get something in too. Okay. That'd be dope right there, man. Um, so how'd you get the new name Nuke Lauren? Or someone give that to you? Is that something you came up with? Or what's the nah, meaning behind it? It's Nook. Oh, it's Nook. Yeah, my bad. Nook hey, man, you got me sitting here calling you <laughs> this whole time. Now you want to tell me it's Nook? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, my grandmother had named me Nook. And then the Lauren just came from, like, I used to just wear polo. So oh, okay. I just took the Lauren, put it together. Nook Lauren. I feel that. So what's next for you, man? What else you got coming up, bro? What else you working on right now? We just work. We just working on just just moving, just networking, traveling, trying to get in the right people ears. Just get to that next level. Yeah, I feel that, man. You going out to Cali? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all going to Cali? You trying to go to Cali? Which one is it? We want to go. We going. Nah, we go. We just got to make it official. Yeah. <laughs> you ever been out there before? Huh? You ever been out to Cali before? I've been to Cali one time in okay, Oakland. Man. Yeah, it's yeah, a vibe I out there. Though. I got family out there. For real? In yeah. LA or where? Nah, in Oakland. Okay. Yeah. Oh, in the Bay. That's what's good, bro. Uh, you got any shout outs you'd like to give before we wrap it up here? Uh, just shout out to my fans, my brothers, everybody that supported me. Just shout out to everybody. Shout out to niggas representing Jersey too, gang. Facts. Like, word. Facts. Word. Word. Everybody word. that's working. Yeah. The whole Jersey, man. Word up. You try to work, you work with you, man. Sure. You don't rap shit, don't fuck shit, we work with you. Word. You know, you fucking niggas that's somebody. Peace, leave in peace. Facts. Take you out of the tongue of this shit. Shout out my son, Snow. Shout out my boy, Boo. Free Boo, free Ice. Free little day, free the whole camp, on way to camp. Yeah. 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 Yeah.